Barb from MissMetabolism.com. So my friend Emily from the Greek yogurt taste test video asked me what I thought of Lara bars. And really, I don't think I've ever bought a Lara bar because they're just too expensive. But she told me they tasted really good and they're made with some really simple but wholesome ingredients. And she said, actually, it seems like something we should be able to make ourselves. So I thought, I think I'll give that a shot. So I bought a Lara bar. It cost $1.15 for this tiny 1.7 ounce thing. And actually the price goes up to almost two bucks at different stores around. Uh, this is the peanut butter cookie variety. And check out the ingredient list. It includes dates, peanuts, and salt. So three ingredients. So I went out and I bought those ingredients right here. And then I used some math to calculate how much of each to add to recreate the same nutrition facts. So what I found was that I'll add 25 grams of peanuts, 28 grams of dates, a dash of salt, and just for fun, I'm also going to add a dash of vanilla. So I'm just going to weigh those ingredients into a Magic Bullet blender cup. I'm going to blend it. Magic Bullet's pretty cool. It works like a food processor and a blender. So I'm going to get started on that. It's noisy, though. So I've got it pretty much blended right here. It's sticking together. So that's good. How do I make this into a bar? I could just take it in my hands. Or another good method is actually to put it in a Ziploc bag and then press it into a bar. So now let's shape this into a bar. The Ziploc method works pretty well. Any sort of baggie you have, dump it right in, squish it to the bottom, get it all stuck together. You can really make it whatever shape you want. You can make it a cookie shape, um, or you can try to imitate the lar bar shape. All right, I got it as flattened as I can, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to put it on this plate with these other ones I made. So I have the peanut butter cookie, cashew nut cookie, or cashew cookie, and one I made up with chocolate and walnuts. And by the way, here's the original Lara Bar. It looks pretty similar, and it tastes really similar, too. So seriously, that's all. No baking. Just blending, shaping, and then eating. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining me, and join me again at MissMetabolism.com for more tips and easy recipes.